Seems happy. No wonder you can't say anything with big satelloid fingers. <laughs> Must be like a sea lion trying to play the piano. <laughs> I just like the fact that they subtitled him because he's so posh, it counts as a sort of speech impediment. <laughs> To be fair to Charles, that is not a normal day for him, is it? That's the aftermath of his mother dying, and he's clearly going through the stages of grief. But say what anger with a pen, sparkling um, <laughs> for a new pen. <laughs> I don't think he knows the year. I can barely remember the year these days, to be honest, now I'm older. So there's like so many twos in it at the moment. <laughs> but you know what it's like? Tw we're 2020, we're 2022. Like that sometimes it's like 2220. I get I get slightly confused about what the date is. I'm very very upset. I'm only looking at you, Frankie, because we're super ages. I assume you're the same. You're the cleverest person I know, and you don't know what the year is. <laughs> Do you think Charles has got the job now? And he's like, oh, I can't be asked for this shit. I'm 72 now. This would have been much fun when I was younger. Was his first job? <laughs> it's hard to take your first job seriously. He's probably smoking at the back of the pallet. <laughs> well, that's the end of the show. Thanks to my guests, Richard Osmond, Sophie Jickers, Susan McCabe, and Josie Long!